how to actually properly hit a flop shot over the bunker and onto the green. Now, most people when they're in this scenario panic. I must say this is not a very, uh, it is an intimidating shot. Um, I've got a huge bunker in front of me. I've got very limited space on the green itself. The flag's about two meters over the, over the bunker. And um, this really is a tough shot. That sort of made famous over the years by Phil Mickelson. Phil Mickelson is an absolute genius and a master of these shots. I'm going to just give you a couple of tips today that can hopefully help you the next time you're in this scenario. First things first, club selection. I've got a 60 degree lob wedge here. Uh, a lot of players don't have a lob wedge in their bag, so I would suggest use the club with the most amount of loft in your bag. I'm fortunate I've got a 60 degree here. If you don't have a 60 degree, maybe just a sand wedge, then uh, use that. The lie at this point in time, I've got a fairly decent lie here. The ball's lying nicely on top of the grass there. So um, it should be easy to get the club basically cutting through the grass and getting underneath this ball. So let's quickly just talk about setup and a couple of uh, technique things that you're going to focus on when playing the shot. Now, first things first, I've got enough loft on the club face here. Um, at address, I'm going to probably just open the face ever so slightly. That adds a little bit more loft to the shot. Hand would always be to the left or in front of the golf ball, depending if you're right or left-handed. Now, very important here, a lot of people actually get tricked. They think because this club face is aiming right off target, if I was a left-handed player, it would be left off target. They think the ball's actually going to go in that direction. It won't. The ball's going to go on the direction on which you swing. So I'm going to be swinging towards the flag. My hand line would probably go a little bit towards the left of the flag through impact, but don't stress, the ball will not go out to the right. So, first of all, club face slightly open, ball position would be sort of further forward in my stance, my hands to the left and the upper body slightly to the left. What I find a lot of amateur players and I've also seen some professionals do wrong is they lean a lot to the left with the lower body but then actually tilting to the right with the upper body. So you can see my shoulder plane is facing towards the sky. The problem with this is if I'm leaning like this I'll be inclined to hit too far behind the golf ball tend to hit the ball thin because my hands and arms are moving in an upward direction through impact so I'm, I'm going to catch the top of the ball hitting it thin right over the back of the green so by leaning just slightly left with the upper body you see my shoulder plane is a little bit more parallel with the ground this enables me to have a more consistent descending blow down onto the golf ball so swing wise now because I want this ball to fly I'm going to allow my wrists to hinge naturally on the back swing club face goes up swing through the grass and you can see I turn through towards my left side I finish with my weight on my left side I don't drop back I don't want to try and help this ball up in the air so whether it's going to work or not um, if I hit it into the trap or onto the green I'm just going to hit a couple of shots here and just show you <coughs> the movement through impact and let's see if I can actually use the loft of the club correctly by brushing the grass the ball runs up the face so if the ball runs up the face the ball pops up in the air let's give it a go Club face open, ball slightly left in the stance, hands and weight with the upper body a bit towards the left, smooth back, brush the grass. Okay, that one, I caught a little bit thin, it's just over the back of the green. Let's try another one. So the important thing that I did wrong there, I didn't lift my head, I just pulled up the club too quickly, I didn't brush the grass nicely. Let's give it another go. There we go. Oh, just a bit too soft. Came back into the bunker, but the shot was perfect. I got the strike that I wanted to. I just hit a little bit too soft. And I'm actually glad that it happened now because that's something I find a lot of times amateur players struggle with. They hit the shot nicely, but it finished up in the bunker. Something I really want to give this is a great tip when you play a flop shot. Try and actually land the ball on top of the flag. That'll take the bunker out of play. So let's see if I can actually land this now on top of the flag forget about the bunker and I forget this on the green so same setup there we go perfect that worked out lovely so very important when playing a flop shot choose the club with the most amount of loft focus on brushing the grass through the impact area don't try and help the ball in the air and if you've got something in front of you water or a bunker play for the top of the flag You'll take everything out of play in front of the green, in front of the uh, uh, the green, like the water or the bunker. You'll probably get the ball onto the green with a lot more success. Happy golfing.